Energy flow within an ecosystem. Objective. To identify the flow of energy from one trophic level to the next within an ecosystem. An ecosystem is made up of three main components. Producers. Consumers. And decomposers. All are concerned with the feeding process, the circulation of chemical elements, and the flow of energy. The sun is the main source of energy. About 1% of the sun's total energy enters producers such as plants, algae, and cyanobacteria. The remaining solar energy will be used to evaporate water or will simply dissipate into outer space. As energy is transferred from one trophic level within the ecosystem to the next, from producers to primary consumers, about 90% of it will be lost as heat, as a byproduct of respiration. Similarly, as the remaining energy flows into the next trophic level, which will be the secondary consumers, another 90% of the remaining energy will be lost as heat. As the energy is transferred from one trophic level to the other, it will continue to decrease. Decomposers, such as bacteria and fungi, break down dead materials into inorganic substances and produce heat as a byproduct. To better understand how this loss of energy works, let's take a brief look at a simple ecosystem. Suppose grass produces and has 1,000 kilocalories of energy. At the herbivore level, the grass will be eaten by mice or rabbits. Primary consumers have an intake of approximately 100 kilocalories. At the next trophic level, mice and rabbits will be eaten by a snake. The secondary consumers have an intake of approximately 10 kilocalories. Tertiary consumers, such as eagle, will eat the snake. These consumers will have an intake of only 1 kilocalories. Summary An ecosystem is a self-sustaining structure. It has producers, consumers, and decomposers. The energy from the sun enters the ecosystem by way of producers, and from there it flows through the trophic levels. As the energy is transferred from one trophic level to the next higher level, most of it is lost as heat.